CSP's transformation journey starts with infrastructure. Um, CSP's work with infrastructure, they have for, for decades. Um, OpenStack provides a mechanism for them to create an abstraction and virtualize the infrastructure away. Um, whether they're doing it in the data centers or even today they're starting to do it in the home on, on set-top boxes and other devices, they bring OpenStack as a method of providing ubiquitous virtualization solution for their infrastructure needs. Um, I think OpenStack stands out in the industry as the most addressed, most talked about, uh, most common, um, and most available uh, version of infrastructure virtualization um, that is easily accessible for operators uh, and, and easily deployable and vendable by, by the uh, operators' uh, vendors. So OpenStack needs to not necessarily reinvent itself, it needs to keep doing what it does so well today, uh, provide that ubiquitous infrastructure virtualization layer. What it really needs to do is, is accept and integrate and, and coalesce a version of, of, of virtualized infrastructure that the container industry can uh, deploy over and integrate with. It's not just about running containers on OpenStack, it's about running containers integrated with OpenStack. Um, we've seen at the conference this week, there's been a lot of discussion, a lot of demonstrations in the keynotes um, around how OpenStack is addressing modularization and availability of services for the container community. Uh, and, and this trend, I think, is, is necessary, um, valuable, and the right thing to be doing uh, to bring the Kubernetes and container community together with OpenStack uh, in order to create, again, th that ubiquitous solution that, that operators need. Uh, containers bring a, an ability to, to manage applications that, that that is necessary for driving innovation, deploying new, new application types, uh, and, and essentially managing scale across operator networks once virtualized. Uh, and this together with OpenStack uh, really does answer and address the needs, at least for the next iteration in what CSPs require. When we started this journey as a telecommunication uh, community, maybe four or five years ago on mass. Um, OpenStack was already sort of prevalent in IT and it was talked about and it was relevant. Um, and so from a telecommunications perspective, we sort of entered into the domain where OpenStack was, was there. Uh, and we needed to work around OpenStack and understand OpenStack and fit in with OpenStack. Um, other communities have since sprung up, such as OPNFV. Um, OPNFV was a great community because it intended to help and drive that interaction and change. Uh, and that's come to the point now where OPNFV is seen as an integral part of OpenStack's avenue to working with the telecommunication NFV uh, industry. Uh, so I think from, from being the only game in town now to being one of a broader and vibrant ecosystem or set of ecosystems, um, OpenStack has now started to work more integrated with, with projects like OPNFV, starting to engage with, with Kubernetes, uh, and, and really creating that, that center of mass or, or, or central point of, of cohesiveness, uh, where all industry can come together, where we can solve problems together, and we can take advantage of what each other are doing. And I think that's really what OpenStack brings, uh, and the value that OpenStack has started to sort of take responsibility for providing to the industry. Five G is again about about virtualizing infrastructure. Five G differs from first generation two G, three G, four G in in that five G isn't so much about access technology anymore. Five G is very much about next generation virtualization. Um, what we call the internet today, what five G is looking at at, at, at becoming. Um, these will merge, and we will look at the internet in a new way once we have five G available to to essentially enable that.